Two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and this is Charlie Beeson. What's up? And today we're checking out a Patreon pick for As the Footsteps Die Out Forever, Streetlight Manifesto. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the pick, Landon. This is a Patreon pick. Shout out to Landon. And we're going to just jump in and send it, bud. Let's get it. You end a song. Right I there. didn't know I wanted that. Me either. But when they laid it out there, yes. Yes. I wanted that. Now, we found our first one. Remember the other day I was telling you I have a complaint when it comes to drums? Yes. There's a certain sound of drums that I don't like. And I uh, couldn't explain yep. how to break that down. <clears throat> this this is right here my my uh, dislike of the drum sound. That if I can find it. Every night, three long weeks from the home. It just sounds not good. Sounds hollow. Ho- yeah, exactly. I know. I was like, I was, I can't remember what video that was, and I was like, it sounds like a dumbass thing to say for sure. But there's like just this like hollow ping to it. It just doesn't do it for me. Do not like that. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Like that part of the drums but it doesn't bother me yeah it just i don't know there's definitely songs where i'm like really enjoying it and then i hear that and i'm just like Ugh, and it just kind of like takes me out of the immersion if that makes sense yeah and i don't know if that's like a quality thing or if that's just a certain kind of a sound for certain drums i'm not really sure because obviously we're musical illiterate 
Um, music illiterate, but yeah. we listen to music. Exactly. We enjoy it. We love it. We're here for it. But we don't we don't know what we're talking about half the time. <laughs> now, everything else about the song was, was fine. Lyrics were good. I enjoyed all the other instruments. The trumpet sounded good. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely wasn't like up there with my favorite of Streetlight that we've yeah, heard. Yeah. But I do think it was uh, pretty solid. We sw- When it switched from the more, um, I guess, kind of that ska feel to the punk style, it was very interesting to me because I'm like, okay, I didn't know I wanted that, but I did. Mm-hmm. And then it did the same thing the other way. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Kept you on your toes a little bit. And then that ending, the, the way ending it just, was oh, man. So nice. Honestly, it really, it really was. Really hit that sentimental part, especially with the, what the song's about. And man. Yes. It just, it just really hits home, hits that button and, and makes you feel that, the, the pain. Yeah. A hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I really, the drums were my only complaint here, um, Lyrically, I think this is fantastic. Mm-hmm. The overall sound, like I said, for some reason, it just didn't grab me like a lot of street light songs do. But the, the lyrics were really nice, and I like his vocals. Yeah, this one grabbed me. Did it? Oh yeah. Good, good. Um, ratings, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm gonna go with a five point eight. It's gonna go on a playlist. I'm gonna go with a seven point one, and it's gonna go on a playlist. Oh yeah. Um, lyrically, it just it really is. drug me in. It the really horns, is. obviously, the horns are. Kind of my thing. I yeah. kind of really like those. So that really it adds to everything else. And then, like I said, that the hollow sound there doesn't bother me at all. Oh, yeah. I know. So, no, I was legitimately because you were like saying, you know, we were talking about pet peeves or something. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I have very few. And some of them that I have, I couldn't even explain to you. And, th- and that's one of and them. And then that's one of them. Yeah. So it just finally popped back up. And I could definitely, it definitely stands out. Yeah. Like I, you could definitely hear that anytime it's there because it, it just pops, and I think, I think that is part of the reason to do it, as well as because it definitely draws some people in, might scare some people out. Yeah, and I'm but sure it's there. I'm a hundred percent sure that I'm in the minority of this because I've never heard anybody else complain about that. Right. Yeah. So it's just a, some random quirk that I have. Yeah. Long intro guy. Yep. You know, well, uh, I mean, we all got them. Yeah, but lyrically, I think this was the the. Pinnacle, like my favorite part of the song was lyrically, and then followed by that slow down at the end. That was just oh, a dude. really beautiful touch. It was, but everything else felt like good for sure. Yeah. But it just didn't sweep me off my feet like a lot of street lights songs yeah, do. And that's fair. Yeah. Shout out to our Patreon. Thank you, Landon. We appreciate you very much. Thanks for the pick. Always enjoy some more street light. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, I think that's shaping up to be one of my favorite scoff bands, scoff punk bands. And I mean, they're kind of a big part of my intro to the genre too, which is really nice for me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you got spoiled. Uh-huh. I got spoiled with <laughs> punk too. You did. We both did. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, bud? No, that's it for me. Guys, smash that like button. If you enjoyed our reaction, if you want to have a little fun at our expense, drop down in the comments. Who gets that brain cell? Don't ever Do say it. I'm not fair. Let's see? You're fair. Cause you know, for sure you're going to get this one. Oh, and if you and you deserve it, and if you didn't say it, I would have one hundred percent said it anyway. So it's fine. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. So maybe you'll lose your brains out because your ego is taking over again. That's fine. Take it over. Evil Chuck's coming back. <laughs> Evil Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys! Until next time, peace out. Send the pity cells his way, y'all. Peace. <laughs>